Yeah. It's a movie shoe on. Baby got a that movie shoe on. Baby, baby got some salmonella. All right, that's it. We are here. It's the Movie Shoehorn Podcast. It's got me, Eric, Travis, Ben, Wyatt, and the movie we are talking about is the 2012 epic crime drama film directed by Derek Sion France, The Place Beyond the Pines. Star studded cast, actually. Yeah, a lot of people. Wow. We got uh, Ben's boy. I think this was Ben's recommendation. We got his favorite boy, Ryan Gosling. Bradley Cooper, why'd you make that face? You definitely recommended this. Mm-hmm. Ryan Gosling, Bradley Cooper, Eva Mendez, Ben Mendelsohn, oh. some other Mahershala familiar faces. Mahershala Ali, right? Oh, Mahershala Ali. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, totally Wait, forgot yeah, that? the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, first I just wanted to ask you guys, who all had seen this? Because I thought I had seen this, but mm-hmm. I realized watching that I have not. So this I'd was a- never, I'd never seen it at all. I well, haven't seen, seen it. Seen it? Very ben owned it on Blu-ray. Well, I know Ben. Me, I had seen yeah. it uh, a little, but yeah, I feel exactly like you. I felt like I had seen it, but I definitely had not seen it fully, or even even very much of it at all. I was gonna watch a trailer too, but I was like, "Well, I have to watch it. What's the point? I'll go in yeah. kind of blind. Maybe I've seen it, maybe I haven't." And I'm glad I didn't because the movie was not anything at all what I was expecting. I no. also don't know what I thought, but it was not this, and it was yeah. a pleasant surprise. I mean, this is my favorite part of doing this podcast is seeing these movies that are gaps that I haven't seen before that yeah. really I, we should be seeing. Yeah. Yes. I, mean, I didn't think, yeah, that was the whole point. And in the future, I don't want to know too much. Like, you can make a recommendation, but I don't want to know, like, too much what it's about. Yeah. Because I like that going in completely fresh kind of thing. Hell yeah. Yeah, that, yeah that's what I mean. It, it's yeah. such a gap that we it's just totally blind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's great. I actually have a kind of a comment to add on that being was I the only one that had seen it before? Yeah. Where like you been? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh it was like obviously there was no shock factor for me. Um mm-hmm. because I already knew what was gonna happen. But don't spoil uh, I <laughs> yeah, you can spoil. Right. I did notice some things like watching it the second time that I didn't quite notice the first time. But what did you guys think? I'd be curious to hear what those are. It was, well, I, I was saying ahead. halfway through the movie, who's the fucking protagonist? Like, I mean, yeah. you don't know. I still, That's a great question. I, at at yeah. the end of the movie, I think it's the son. I think basically the movie doesn't actually start until the 15-year-later jump, and it's like an hour movie. That's, yeah. Uh, that was one of the things that I, I mean, obviously I probably noticed it the first time, but um, they basically take an hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes to set up the movie and then they tie it all up in 30 minutes. Yeah. And that was it's crazy. Um, yeah. It was definitely flawed. It, was, it, wasn't a perfect felt, it just movie. felt like something was missing. But, yeah. Um, missing where? Which part? Like after the time? Uh, or what? Yeah. Like, kind of is. both. Like, I think after the time jump and, like, most, most of the end of the movie, I feel like, was rushed. Like, you could... Two two hours and 20 is already long, so I get not wanting to make a, yeah. like, a non-comic book or novel movie that's um, three hours long. not three hours, but I feel I felt like that was kind of rushed. Um, to me, it was especially like... the Especially the ending. Like, yeah, the ending was like, wasn't... You we got to get this over as quick as possible. It felt like it wasn't a real Not satisfying ending. Yeah. What's up? Well, Actually, if you, like if you the take ending. the I like if ending. you take like the deep meaning of it, yeah, it is kind yeah, of a I satisfying like, meaning. To be honest, the ending. the ending made me change my my whole outlook. I thought it was two movies. I thought the first movie was a movie I wanted to watch. The second movie, I I was immediately like. How on earth are they going to keep me intrigued without the greatest actor, the <laughs> sexiest man that's ever touched the screen? To be honest, I almost didn't take notes because I just was like, Ryan Gosling <laughs> is hot. He <laughs> is always hot. His tattoos are so hot. He's so cool. What is like? But yeah, no, the, I, I love the first half. I wish there was more bank robberies. It was. How fucking cool was that first enough. shot? The whole the tracking shot from behind them. Yeah, the last, like they there's no cuts in that. It, they that's all yeah, sure. one shot wow. until he goes into the cage and yeah, that in was, the cage. 
And Ben Mendelsohn what? was the best character to me. That's right. I, I I forgot he was in it too. Like, and I've seen so much shit with him in it since then. It's my favorite. Role I was like, his. oh. Yeah, he's yeah. so good. He was awesome. He was great. Yeah. But the first time I saw Bradley Cooper, I was like, is that Bradley Cooper? Yeah, Man, right. Like, well, ben, yeah. ben Mendelsohn? I mean, they all sort of seem unrecognizable. This is Mahershala, sort of all... Yeah. Mahershala was not what I expected his character to be at all. I didn't think it was going to be some pussy, like, just mess. What you doing up in my house? Man, that was That scene was really uh, weird. It was out of context. They didn't really show... His his inner demons, kind of. Like, you knew he was a fucked up dude, but he was just all of a sudden snapped and beat the shit out of him, you know what I mean? That was very odd to me. Yeah, you hit somebody with a big like, iron wrench. And... and you're trying to do... He was a very tortured character, obviously. Like, I just don't think they yeah. gave us enough of, like, his backs. I don't know. I just felt like there was something missing. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I think they try to sort of plunge you into the deep end. Like, when he goes to court for that they say he's got a violent past but yeah before that you don't really know that well i think um well one of my favorite parts actually was something i noticed i think you mentioned like the end was rushed but i felt like every no scene felt like it was longer than like three minutes yeah it was was kind of like a story of you know their lives and then when they fast forward like the kids lives but it was just like shit just kind of happened i felt like there was nothing like it wasn't drawn out ever it was like this scene this scene this scene and i kind of that like there was no just like long monologues or like it was just kind of like watching someone's life and but something they said in the beginning he was like when he finds out he has the kid he's like you know i never had a dad and he's got he has to have a dad like look how i turned out and i think that was kind of the point like Dude. they didn't show you a bunch of his background but they told you like he grew up without a dad and that right. came into play later what was weird to me was um they treated him like such a piece of shit, but it's like you didn't even tell him he had a son. They treated him, him like some derelict dad, but as soon as he found out he had a kid, he wanted to be in his life. Yeah. But she, I was just like, he's kind of getting a bum rap for, like, you you weren't around. She didn't fucking tell him. He was in a traveling yeah. circus. Like, but, Yeah, but I think, um, like, like you're talking about, after he hit Mahershala Ali's character with the pipe, I think she had, like, prior reason to, like, keep right. him. Well, well right. Yeah, I agree with she that. She loved him, but she knew yeah. like he was a psychopath, pretty much. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Be a, but it is a mess. Edge of uh, it didn't help him. I'm psychopath sure. to do that bike shit. Like, hey, <laughs> yeah, getting paid cool. what? But I think that's also kind of the point I was making, which was that's that stuff kind of doesn't matter because that's not the story. That's the you know that's the background. Yeah. Right. The, True, the kid right. is the story. See, I just hate that didn't. I didn't not like the kids, but it just was very underwhelmed. It was never going to live up to the first half so, to me. Yeah. I hated Bradley Cooper's kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Too. <laughs> was the prototype. And it was funny because uh, what's the main character? Well, I guess you can call him the Jason. Jason said, like, you sound like you're from Long Island, not Troy. It was well, dude. It's funny because uh, Bradley Cooper had the wigger. He had Ryan Gosling as a kid. It's like they had rever. It's like they reverse. Like to me, yeah. Bradley Cooper's kid was way more Ryan Gosling, and it's like he hated his kid. He lo- he liked uh, Ryan Gosling's kid more than his own. I mean, you could see it by the way he treated him. He literally assaulted his kid, put his hands on his kid. I mean, dude, I swear he felt so horrible. I- about what he, he did. So he, like, yeah. He did well, I think it was kid. more of a guilt trip for him right. than it was like, you know, well, I yeah. actually care about what happens to him. Like, I yeah. just don't want you to be the one fucking up his life because I already. True, true. But to me, it was it was shocking kind of how he I don't know. I kind of felt that he kind of had more affection toward this kid because he truly knew what he had done. Well, he to carried him. around the picture of him and baby yeah. in a wallet. That's yeah, crazy. That was crazy. Did they? I. Did they show that more than when he found it at the end? Or yeah, yeah I think yeah. they. I think he took it from they the did? bag. Remember when he was in the room? Well, yeah, yeah. He took okay. a picture okay. and he yeah. oh, scared, obviously. And he sent it to his mom. I I think Bradley Cooper was his character was my like. I found him to be the most intriguing character because I didn't really un, like like you were just talking about. I didn't really understand like he seemed like a dick like. But I I couldn't tell if he was like his whole plot was just to like from the beginning. To like just ascend to like the DA's office. Yeah. Like, did that come from his dad being like a really hard ass judge? Yeah. 
But it never it seemed like him and his dad had a good relationship, and then yeah, that was confusing. He, like treated his son like shit. I don't know if they were calling back to like the psychiatrist being like, "You can't look at your boy." Is that because you killed this guy and he has a boy, and it's just like, mm-hmm. maybe you just never connect with him ever since then? I I agreed that uh, his trajectory towards being the running for attorney general it made no sense. He was like he became a piece of shit. I thought he was like a good guy, like kind of was. Kind of was, and then yeah, he saw yeah. like this opportunity to like frame everyone, and then all of a sudden he's just like fuck everyone. Like yeah, well was, I, I think weird. he wanted to do the right thing. And right. basically, but it was light like, to the corruption of the police officers, and yeah, he couldn't do it. So he, you know, he's like, okay, then I, I'm gonna go do what my dad's been telling oh, yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I guess well, why did he become? That was my a question I had. Was so he says like he went to law school, like a lawyer and all this. So why did he join like the cop force? I, I didn't really understand that. Did you ever think about that? Like, why did he become a cop? I mean, I think just from what he he said in that little speech, I think was honest, which was. He didn't want to be a lawyer. He wanted to, you know, be, do action kind He'd of thing. Be involved, yeah. Because I, I mean, was I think wondering if he, like, not that he was like, oh, first chance I get, I'm gonna blow some away, but like, was kind of looking for an opportunity like that to pad his like resume. It's a rookie, kind of, yeah. The top, like, that was probably a typical. He was, like, gonna purposely get shot and like kill someone, but I think I don't know. Like, maybe I don't see it that way. I see that you know he he wanted to be good and yeah. Like, I kind of see this whole movie as it seemed like a lot of like these just I don't know these decisions that they make and then the repercussions that come right. from the decision and how they're yeah. changed yeah. because of these like basically yep. small decisions or stuff that you know yeah. happened and and his his total arc was totally changed by true you know the That's shooting true. and then the corruption and blah 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 yeah dude yeah, it really is. That's true. I, I kind of, yeah, I kind of agree with you there. But he also, he just kind of took a quick turn because he lied about saying who shot first to the guy. He yeah. shot first. Yeah. Yeah. Which I don't blame him. He has, to, has a gun out. So, but like, why didn't he tell the truth about that? And then from that point on, he was he just. He knew. Like, yeah, that's what, yeah. Yeah. So he's willing to lie there, but and fuck other people over. But yeah, he was very. Uh, that's why I kind of felt like maybe he was playing some long-term game just because like he felt pressure from his dad or something. I don't know. It was, but I was I couldn't really figure it out. But I, yeah, was, no, no, no. I think oh, you, yeah. I, I think you're right about that. I think it, it was kind of hard to figure out his kind of motives and. But I like that at the same yeah. time because I was like, ooh, what's this guy's like real deal here? So many good. I mean, Captain Pike up in there with the accent. <laughs> yeah, Dude, that rocked so hard. Um, awesome. But but to be honest. Is there a more scary character than Ray Liotta in his no. prime? <laughs> no, dude. That no, just dude. looks like he's going to rape everyone in the house. <laughs> that made me so I mean, yeah. movie, but I was so uncomfortable when they came and raided Mendez. What's going on? How you doing, hon? I'm going to oh, push yeah. you around. Who's <laughs> uh-huh. going to go upstairs where your baby is? and we, yeah. You're not going to know what the fuck's going on up there. Don't worry. I've done this plenty of times. We'll, re- we'll be real quiet. Come on, hon. Come I was on. so worried they were going to do something to that baby. Like I was like, oh, my God, please don't. I made him hold Could it. it. Oh Could have taken a real sinister turn there, dude. I'm telling you, was, man. That's why I like this movie because it. There were so many times where I was like, "Well, this is they're about to do some sinister shit." And yeah, they really it, did. They never fully went total sinister. Uh-huh. Like he could have killed AJ yep. at the end, but instead he just hit him. Like yep. yeah, they they All kind that. of never you know stuck the knife. I in. love that. Yeah, that which made is good. Me- yeah. Cause you did, I didn't. Uh, yeah. I didn't want it to feel like Requiem for a Dream afterwards. You I, know what I, mean? I thought that. Yeah. That's what people made this movie feel like, that it was all doom and gloom and, and and everyone died at the end. So I was kind of expecting that. Like, I don't know why. I, I looked at the IMDb, like, quickly, and I saw who was in it, and then I was like, oh, I don't want to know too much. But I was wondering, like, five minutes before, I was like, isn't Bradley Cooper in this movie? I was like, when is, he must have a small part, and then that's kind of, like, right before the chase scene, and then he pops up. Dude. So I was kind of, I was like, I was shocked when... Um, Gosling got killed. I really yeah. didn't expect, and I was like, "Oh, I have an hour left to go." Like I saw. Yeah, I, I, wrote, down, I wrote down like, "What the fuck are they gonna do for the next hour?" And a half? Yeah, same. <laughs> how are you gonna keep me here? Yeah. I also thought like I, I liked how um, right after they showed him like laid out, they like cut to a hospital bed, and you could hear someone like breathing. I was like, "Oh, don't tell me he survived." Yeah, but that's yeah. what I thought. It was like yeah. a twist, kind of. Yep. Like, yep. I, w- I, like, well, I wanted to I definitely did. There's no way you survived that shit. They yeah, definitely no, were I mean, playing was, with that. They wanted moving. you to be alive. He looked yeah, dead. Yeah. But it was quick too. It was it was just quick. Oh, that's on him. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's all right. But uh, what do you think? I looked it up, so I already kind of know. But do you think there's any significance to the place beyond the pines? Yeah, that's I, where I kept they kept trying to think about that the entire time I watched the movie. What do you mean? It's sort of a trick question, though, actually, because I think I think you're getting at, but I mean, you're talking about like what it actually means. Well, all right, you know, here's, what, here's was, the was here's it referred the, to in the movie? Well, here's the reason it's a trick question is because Schnedekdi or whatever in, in Iroquois, you know, the Native American language is the place beyond the ponds. Oh, wow. Oh. <clears throat> but I saw you know, that. So is this like, also, is, is, did the people that like wrote this, were they from Schenectady? Like, was this a Schenectady was story? It was, yeah, the, one of the, think... at least one of the writers or both of the writers were from there. Well, then that well, kind yeah, one, of opens... the director, his wife grew up in Schenectady and the writer. He can't up... say it. He can't say I it. Can't say it. No. <laughs> I can't so say it. So that <laughs> open that changes the entire way you look at that movie. No, bro. My take is that, that my the whole time I was like, the place beyond the pines is where you go to murder someone. You that's where they a hundred twice they almost were killed in the place beyond the pines to me. Yeah. In the woods where you're you're isolate. You can you can off someone like. See, I kind of saw it as where he met Mendelssohn. That's what I thought. Yeah, that was what it, I really was doing. Oh was, wow, where he was riding back in the woods. Because that, that was kind of the chain that set off, you know, everything bad in the movie. I thought really. he was seeing something, and that was like his dad, and that was like a flashback. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck, like. I was like, you uh, ride really ride good. Four you ride really good. I, know that now. I think that technically is like in the movie, the place beyond the pines. I would say, but I like that that it means something in Indian. No, I that honestly, Travis, that that's a twist for me. Yeah, knowing that. But but they, I think, I mean, I sort of found this director Q and A thing, and he 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 says there's sort of more than one meaning. He also said it's kind of a thing where. The place beyond the pines, it's kind of like what you're talking about, why, but the place beyond the pines is where you meet your demons or your destiny or yeah, sort of like, you know, the end, Bullshit. I that's guess. Like, it's where you go to meet Robin. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. That guy was great. Like you said earlier, I think, what a great character. Like, I thought he was, he, he had all the makings of being like a scummy piece of shit, but he never was. He was actually like a good dude the whole time for the most part. So when he went cool. back. When the sun went back, that was weird, dude. I thought he was about to do some weird shit. Like, he was acting shady. I, got, I mean, that's the thing. I think he was just a lonely dude. He was. Yeah. Well, he, he actually he, had a connection with his father. He let him live there. Like, he was like, all right, okay, you want to <laughs> live right here? Like, like And no, nothing had changed. His yeah. glasses were still on the table. Like, nobody had been in that trailer. He's an alcoholic. Yeah. He does nothing. Like, yeah. he was an alcoholic, bro. He looked green. Like, he looked bad when they showed him, like, a few times. So After I the big that... robbery, his eyes were black. What was that? He's, I, saw I don't that know. too, and I couldn't tell if Dressed. that was just... It looked like he had one of those desk lamps just to kind of turn sideways, pointing at him. So I couldn't tell if it was the lighting from the lamp or if he was, like, they made him yellow because he was, in, like, having cirrhosis or whatever. That's what it looked like to me. But he, he was yeah. just done up to the nines with looking like a Grammy. He looked so, like, oh, my God, dude. He looked he looked the part. He was great, man. He, yeah. he was him cutting up uh, him cutting up the bike is what screwed uh, Gosling's character. Yeah, he I showed that up. I did, so, like, I think he cut the bike. I think that was a genuine friendship, and he didn't want I think that was his, his attempt to... To stop him from doing yeah. anything yeah, crazy. Yeah, he like, no, yeah. had to know that. Like, you can't just cut the guy's bike in half and be like, "Oh, we're not going to talk about this." Ever. Like, yeah. So well, he, he was he like, was blacked out. I think. Yeah. yeah, he was hammered. Huh? He was like he was, he very was really drunk. drunk. Oh, okay. See, I didn't. All right, I missed that then. But I was I was like, how's he just going to cut the guy's bike in half and expect nothing to happen? Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was pretty. Yeah, I like that. I mean, instant friendship, like you said, it's just like, hey, you want to live in my trailer? Or this guy is just racing in the woods. Like, sure. I but guess. did you notice this? Because you guys mentioned the the whole Long Island accent. I'm sorry, I'm just jumping away a little bit. But no when 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 uh, he when uh, what's his, when when Cooper goes into the room with his son, his son doesn't have that accent. Oh, like, really? when he's talking with his dad, he has like a normal accent. I can see that. Yeah. 
He was, only uses the Long Island graduated. accent. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Wyatt voice. <laughs> yeah. Around his friends. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. You got them oxys, huh? Oh, my God, dude. Oxy <laughs> trigger for me, guys. This almost had to tap out. I was about to go blow an 80. You come to my party, B. Get them dude, blow, that man. guy stunk. Like, yeah. he's the worst wig. He didn't, okay, he didn't stink, but he was like, a, I was like a wigger, really? Like, really over the top looking with the, like, what are we doing here? But I guess that's, is that long? Is that like an long, long, long island? Maybe, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I didn't I just think it was meant to be like, like the one kid didn't really have a dad, or I guess he had Mahershala Ali, who was a great stepfather in theory, but you're always going to wonder who your that real kid dad did is. not look Spanish. I didn't that buy it. Thing. It was like, you have a Spanish mom What's and a white uh, dad. Yeah, I overlooked that like, too. I wonder what the kid looked like in real life. See, they were Spanish as fuck. Like, the abuela lived at the fucking house. Give me a break, dude. Like, I need more Hispanic. He was like, What's up, man? Like, I had no Hispanic. He was a depressed white dude. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you, if he was living with the, the grandma, he would be like a Spanish speaking, he would yeah. be Latin he, influenced. Yeah, he was so white. And then that pissed me off. They immediately become friends. We're friends, dog, because we're loners, of course. <laughs> then they get busted for drugs immediately. It was kind of like that was really forced, that whole... They didn't have enough time. There was only an hour left in the movie. I think the movie I read it was going to be a lot longer. They had to do a lot of editing. I just yeah. Want... I just... They, want... See, they I wanted it tell. to be longer. Yeah. <laughs> I could tell when I, when I watched it the second time. Yeah. yeah. I, I, mean, I, I didn't that. Like I said, I didn't think it was a problem because every scene wasn't that long. I felt like it was just a bunch of scenes, one after the other. So, Dude, kept, I swear to God, like, we can make a movie because that's all you just splice together a bunch of fucking little, little Polaroids of scenes and you make a movie. They just have to make sense in order. Like, that movie was... That wasn't the best movie I've ever seen, but goddamn if it wasn't intriguing at times. And, yeah. And, I felt like the two and a half hours flew by. Yeah, it, it did. Was, it was pretty much faster than Thomas Crown affair. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Good God. Well, what do you think? I will say I did. I did enjoy the Thomas Crown affair slightly more just because it was like new to me. I, I had not seen that before, That's, really. This was a chore to watch it again. Not a chore. Well, it became a chore because of my uh, situation, but um, so, no, it certainly wasn't a chore. It just yeah. I, you know. It seemed a lot slower to me leading up to probably the main climax. Uh, well, I mean, I, I just, yeah. just knowing what was coming, you know. I, I yeah. think I, I don't. I don't think I'm going to watch that movie again. Probably. I think once is probably. Yeah. Good Unfortunately, I think that is one of those movies that you probably don't watch again. Even yeah, though you ever, you ever seen a, a, a fuck's it called that Bradley other Bradley Cooper movie, uh, The Press with Lady Gaga? No. Born, oh, born, that is born or... stars, stars born. born. Yes, yeah, like yeah, one of yeah, the most yeah. depressing. But like, like, you should watch it, but you will never watch it again. You will run away. You know what I mean? Like, and that's what sucks about good movies sometimes. Not that this is like the greatest movie ever, but literally some of it's just like I can never watch that again. That's too much. Like, I mean, the whole, what happened to Ryan Gosling? And I mean, that was just to me. It was it's just very sad. And then it just bleeds onto your 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 child. Uh, this you know, I mean. I couldn't believe he died, to be honest. I was like, this is yeah. crazy. I can't Very remember good. a movie where they kill the main character off like that, like in the middle. Yeah. There's a thing Game of a Thrones. Couple. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the first one that comes to mind for some reason. I'm saying a movie, though. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, they don't do it in a movie. You're, no, you're right. That's why I couldn't believe it. I said, who's the fucking protagonist? That would have been the sickest so. hour long film ever if they just ended it. I would have been like, okay, that was fucking wild. Good shit. Maybe another bank robbery scene. Do you think there's any yeah. suicide by cop going on there? Because he, he called the wife being like, I'm in trouble. Don't ever tell him about me. Like, it could be I'm just going to prison for a long time. But do you think he was kind yeah. of to die there, possibly? very odd how he handled it yeah i mean i did kind of think about that wording too like i think he knew he was going away for a long time more yeah. likely rather than he, he knew he was gonna one. die possible but he was also sitting on the window and you have a gun on when a cop's like saying i'm about to enter like you know yeah I'm yeah gonna go down yeah you might be right i don't know i think you could look at it either way yeah, and I mean, a cop's always going to shoot you if you have a gun on your lap. I mean, what do you... I mean, Probably. put the gun down. You say yeah. nothing. He never responded. Like, it was a very weird... Uh, it's kind of like he wanted to die. He was just That's over it. He, he couldn't see his son anymore, right, at that point. She was not having it. 
Yeah. And he was going well, to jail for a long plan, time. Yeah. yeah, his master plan to yeah. fix everything failed. So but to I don't want to forget, but like to me what stood out was this one scene for some or, or was two scenes that were the same. Do you remember when he they got the money, he robbed the bank, whatever, he tried to give it to Eva Mendez. This was after at the car. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah. take the money. She was like, no, fuck off. Bradley Cooper did the exact same yeah. thing. And it was like, That's even though true. you're a police officer and you think that you're this and they're on, they're, they're the same. They're still, they're paralleling in terms of like, he's yeah. doing the, trying to do the exact same thing as this con man. Cause he's somehow now involved with this dirty money. It was very, uh, it was very cool to me that they kind of did that and made it, I don't know. It definitely was worth something. I, I didn't pick up on that, but I did kind of get the feeling that it was the movie was kind of showing like these people are human. They, no they you know, what. they both had the one year old son. Yep. You know, one's a cop, one's a criminal, but you know, they're all human. They're all kind of have the similar motivations. He didn't even want to hear that he had a son. He was like so desperate to not know because he knew it would affect him. You know, like when he saw that picture, it crushed him. I feel like like it was his kid. That was really cool. Like he's a like this guy actually has a heart. But then he took a turn and like didn't have a heart. He's I it didn't make sense. His his character, man, the arc did not make any sense. He went from being like innocent. And I guess the corruption maybe fucked him up to the point where. I don't know. He wasn't the same. He tried guy, to do but... right, and he he got he ended up in the basement. Yeah, yeah. that's how it happens. It seems. And like... then they were gonna kill him. <laughs> yeah, do you think? Yeah, I mean, that was definitely gonna get killed, right? When Ray Liotta tells him to follow him out there to the place. Gotta, what else is gonna happen? You gotta think, right? Yeah. Ray Liotta not gonna not gonna not <laughs> yeah. not kill you. Like what? He's looking murderous. Fuck Ray Liotta was so good in that. Yeah, it's fucking rest in peace, man. He was a scary bastard. Good God. I heard he basically played the same kind of character in that last, in the Bert, in the Black, what's it called? Blackbird? His last show nope. or movie? <clears throat> no clue. He's a fucking psycho. How often does he not play essentially the same, like, angry gangster I mean, or corrupted person. police? Well, Goodfellas, yeah. he, was, he, was, he was way more complex than Goodfellas. He's just a scary dude and everything. Well, yeah. you ever seen Hubie Halloween? Really takes a really good turn <laughs> in that one. <laughs> yeah, I like Hubie Halloween. Hubie Halloween rocks. Is Thermos? <laughs> yeah. He gets, he gets, Don't know what that is. Wow. Wow. Get, get, kick him out. How do you... All right, I think we got our movie for next week. <laughs> Hubie Halloween. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's, that's why I need more Ray Liotta. Now, what is your okay? What about are, are we done? What do you what do you want to keep discussing or give a rating? What do you think? Well, I want to talk about some of my favorite parts. Okay. Uh, I just really enjoyed all the bank robbery scenes. Like they were kind of pretty basic as far as like you just. Like, no fucking like, ground! His voice, yeah, his voice. <laughs> <laughs> like, the high pitchness of his voice would yeah. fucking crack me. All right, I, I've got a pretty good tidbit about the bank robbery scenes. They, Bro, were, all, they were all done in one take. Really? Oh, nice. did all those in one like take. One, one, oh, okay. Did we lose Wyatt? Shot. Just one take. Oh. Yeah, and I just like, I mean, they're pretty quick. Just got a bag and then, but the, like, when he jumped on the motorcycle, the way they shot that, I was like into that shit. I was like, my heart was racing. I thought yeah. that was really cool. And like rough him, your life. Him, him and Robin like hook up and he had the truck waiting for him and he just like ran right into it. I was like, oof, man, that was sick. Yeah, how fast he boom. That's like how close the camera was too. Like it felt super real. Like, I thought they did a good yeah. job. They actually took that from um there was a there was a real bank robber who used that strategy and they took that. He would wow. leave on his bike or motorcycle, whatever, yeah. and drove it into a truck. It seems like a, like a Grand Theft Auto mission or something. <laughs> yeah, they try. Yeah. Yeah. Like, park <laughs> car into the garage and get it colored or something different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right off. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I thought I he was going to get caught because he was just parading around with, like, well, he has the, the worst tattoos all over his face. Well, I guess he got caught on the last one anyway, but he forgot his glasses. But then he also, like, had the same bike and sunglasses, like, kind of nonchalantly. Like, I thought he was someone's going to ID him. And he was fucking driving up in that bike. Like, you got to repaint that thing but after I mean, every... It's like, oh, same bike, just ride around town with his yeah. kid, his wife, or his girlfriend, I guess. Well, he painted it black. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, but... dude. Yeah, no, I no. Mean. He definitely had some identifying tattoos, for sure. 
E- Eva Mendez first scene, those those nips. Oh my god, bro. She just walked up with her nips revealed. I was like, oh fuck yeah, my baby. Oh god, it's been so long. Things were revealed. Yeah, I, I was surprised by that. I was like, okay, they're really this movie's gonna be crazy. They're just She's showing like, the nips. Dude, yeah, she she was some she was some Hispanic trash for sure. They, they, I mean, so fuck with showing him. up at the circus. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> so that was weird. That like they insinuated they never showed that. I guess he fucked. They fucked before, and he was back again, and she was pregnant already. That was confusing to me. She had already had the kid. Yeah. Right. He was back. It he was said a, he goes. It ends up being a yearly stop. Yeah, yeah. You know? To stop on this yearly circus route. Yeah, so I guess he was three months old on the way back at round after the nine months pre- three months old baby. Hey, don't, don't 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 bring math into this. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, not, that you're gonna only end in pain if you start bringing in math into these kind of things. Well, Travis, you're looking too hard into it. She had the baby. He's back. I'm looking for the uh, the the sacred numbers. Okay, yeah, I I loved. The noises, the sounds of the bike with the rock. I mean, it was just when he was flooring it on that one dude, when he was just getting it, that was it. He was all up on it. That was fucking crazy. They um, really made it look like he was going so fast. I don't know how they did well, that. Why was he doing that? Like, you're drawing even more attention. Like, no one's yeah. even after him at that point. I had that thought too. I think it's just adrenaline. But yeah, you're just like, well, of course you're doing something bad if you're flying 120 yeah. after a bank robbery. Yeah. Like, but, I mean, he had the plan to get to the truck. Like, I guess that was the right. one. Because then well, it's like, they're never going to find you. Well, he, when they got to the truck, the police weren't far behind. So I yeah, think I he know. had to go that fast. Right. right. Maybe I like they, when they went back where they came from. Yeah. Perhaps we didn't know where they were coming from. And they, you know, we didn't know the layout. They were going to cross paths if he didn't dip out fast as fuck or some shit. Yeah. That was, yeah, I loved every aspect of it. Uh, I loved when the uh, person couldn't throw the thing over. What the fuck? What the you! You! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fuck this up! Fucking God, if you fuck this up. Uh, who was better, Gosling or Cooper? Gosling. Yeah, I mean... Well, I don't think it's just for sure. I think I might like Cooper better. Well, yeah, I mean, like we were saying, Cooper's character might be more interesting, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I would probably say Gosling still. Yeah, he's, he's a great actor. Yeah. God, I'm so good. Oh. But you know what's funny? The director, I mean, I don't, I don't think he's really done anything since. No, I, I was like, I was like, yeah, I don't really recognize any of this stuff. I think he had done a movie with Bradley Cooper before this one, but I didn't. I, th- no, no, I think it was Ryan Gosling. Yeah, or Blue excuse me, Valentine. Blue Valentine. Did you see yeah, that, Ben? Have you seen that? No, no, I, I am surprised I haven't seen it. I don't want to check I think it it's out. It's a real, I think it's a real uh, artsy romance film. Real far too. Thomas Crown. Far too. Thomas Crown. You know it, Eric. Fucking delicious. I enjoyed it. I really it did. Have... I really enjoyed it as well. It was really yeah, I did too. I mean, it's got a seven point three on IMDb, but it, I mean, it must have tanked commercially because he basically yeah, didn't it... get another chance. The guy... the... I, how did he get such like a star-studded cast though? Yeah, that's a good question. Like they had to have trust in him or something. Or maybe they just love the script. I don't know. Yeah, it had to be script. That I mean, yeah, that's a good point, man. He didn't do anything and he gets this complete how did he you know what it is? Is I barely recognize some of these I don't think these people were that big a deal at that time. I looked it up because I was curious. I was like, was this before or after the hangover? It was like not too long after the hangover. Oh really? He had already done the hangover? But I mean, that's a completely different role at the same time. What about yeah, Ryan Gosling? Was he already care. a star at this point? Ryan Gosling, I have yeah. He had yeah, just he's the done, notebook, bro. He had just oh, done Drive, yeah. which was pretty big. Drive, yeah, I remember Drive was a big deal. Uh, oh my god, it okay. wasn't. <laughs> Especially if you know Ben Willen. <laughs> His uh, his IMDb all superstar list of bangers. Who? Gaz? This yeah. made me want to watch uh, Blade Runner twenty forty nine again. 
Yeah, I need to watch that. I the first he, man I brought up last week. Another Ryan. Oh, Gosling. the first man. Yeah, oh I have seen I that. that was him, dude. Kind of watch that crap. I, yeah, I do. See what you think about it, because it's some people are just kind of like, eh, whatever. But I think it's just like a, just a really well done movie. But it's kind of like I maybe, heard good things. Yeah, but it's not like I don't know. Like, so the tone is kind of flat, so you kind of have to yeah, into. I agree. It. How is but it compared still, to The Martian? I love The no. Martian. Completely different. Like Martian's like <laughs> fun and exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flat, it's like Ryan Gosling is real. Yeah, it's like. Neil Armstrong was like depressed because his baby dies and like going to the moon like the most solitary thing anyone's ever done. Uh, Matt Damon making jokes about his uh his other yeah like people throwing potatoes in his own shit like there's none of that yeah Just fucking science the shit out of it. kind of movie but it's like <laughs> shot really well I think it's a realistic as fuck. Who's that director? He's done a bunch of shit. Damien Chazelle, Damien Chazelle or right? Oh, guy did Whiplash yeah. and La La Land. And I think he did Babylon. If anyone saw that. Yeah, he's not. He might not get another chance. <laughs> Babylon tanked. He cashed in on that one. It sounds like. Or, I don't know. He's done a bunch of other shit. What else has he done? He's done some really good shit. I think he's well. Like I mean, he won an Oscar for La La Land, so that'll. That was a great movie, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Which is one of my favorite movies of all time. Might be. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Which one? Whiplash. Oh, dude, I, I haven't still seen, haven't seen it. I still haven't seen it. Oh, who hasn't seen it? I haven't seen it. Ben? Why? I've seen it. I think we watched it together. Oh, I know. We I went and saw Robert. When, it, when was that? <laughs> it's like 2018 or something? 2014, 15-ish. Oh, really? It's say. that old? This is a Miles Teller thing? Yeah, Miles yeah. Teller. I think that was the first yeah. time I've ever seen him. Honestly. 2014. Wow. I J.K. Know, it was that old. Best <laughs> yeah. I want to say. He wrote Cloverfield 10 Cloverfield Lane. That was a weird movie, dude. Who did? Damien Giselle? Yeah, well, he was at least a writer on it. Hmm. That's crazy. <clears throat> I didn't... I, uh, well, back to the amazing movie. Uh, I mean, dude, this was pre rehearsal of Ali, right? Being a stud? Pretty sure, yeah. He has such a presence. Maybe. Like I was just like, damn, man. Awesome. he's so good. Like he didn't do a lot in this movie, but everything he did was just like, fuck, he's so good. Uh, his true detective will never get as much as much credit as it deserves. That that his role in that blew my mind. Like I was, he he yeah. held this whole show together. Yeah. That was season three. Yeah. yeah. I, never, I never saw it. Might have even been season oh. four. No, Is it good? It Nobody he says did. to watch it. It's, it's better than no, two, you, but I would watch it for him. Yeah, he does like him. Two the ones seen out. Two the one with all the famous people with Colin Farrell. Vince Vaughn, yeah. That was second season. Yeah. Yeah. Don't watch that. That that was awful. Vince Vaughn, he used to beat rats in the basement in the dark. You remember his character? (laughs) Huh? Yeah, we remember. He doesn't get his dick hard. His dick doesn't get hard unless he squeezes a rat. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I'll watch anything with Ryan Gosling for the most part. Anything with Bradley Cooper for the most part. Mahershaw Ali. I mean, dude. Ben Mendelsohn. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Ready Player One. I about his, one more question I have written down. How, when the, Jason, when the kid was, um, like, reading the newspaper, what, what was it, what was said in the newspaper about him that, like, that led him to the Robin guy? Because he was reading, like, an excerpt about how his dad got shot, and then, like, they just... Like, oh, the like, auto body. The auto body. Yeah, his the name, the why, was that in, why was that in the paper? Because he yeah. had a job there. Oh, fucking bitch. Uh, it, said he, it said he had a job at blah, 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 uh, body shop. I, I must have, like, turned my head, because I was like, why? But yet that guy never got caught, or was yeah. that? Okay. Yeah, I was like, I didn't think he got caught. That's why I was confused. I was like, why did the paper have his name? Yeah, okay, that is that more sense. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of dumb. It's like uh, my mom won't tell me the the name of my dad, but Mahershala Ali will, and he immediately is just like looking it up. Like I'm just like this guy's gonna go crazy as soon as he finds out. Like, well, who wouldn't? Yeah, exactly. Who wouldn't? His mom okay. never broke the promise. Like she, she never told him about him. Fucking. Well, she uh, was right to never tell him. Right. Hell yeah. <laughs> But I know your dad. Sure going back to her, I thought that was like a nice way to wrap it up. Like I'm sure that made her happy. Dude, dude, 
that touched me so much. Yeah, it was man. a good little touch ending. It touched me. You ever, like, wrote, you ever wrote one of these before? That was so great. I love how, that. How did that happen? How was he? How did, was he such an expert? Because it's in his blood. Is yeah. that it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. He grew I don't up like on his appreciation skills though. He's like, I bought five grand. He's like, here. Like, <laughs> oh, do a little barter. I bought three grand. It was like a like five hundred. Uh, no, I think it's because he also rode a bike. Like, I think it was just in his jeans, bro. He rode everywhere. He just didn't have a motorcycle. Well, yeah, no, know. they showed him, like, he was doing some expert-level shit. You have to sort of have some kind of practice. I think it was just a, a nod to his dad being, I think he'll be able to ride because his dad was literally the greatest rider ever, you know? Like, I think it was I mean, just I, like- yeah, I'm sure that it was. it didn't take him long to learn because it was in the blood, basically. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. He was, yeah, I don't know. I wish there was more movie kind of because it seemed like, although it was long, it was almost like I wanted more time with some of the characters. I wanted more time with Ryan Gosling, obviously. That wasn't enough, man. They kind of short sold him, dude. I don't, he got fucked, man. I thought I was going to like hate him. I'm more so, I'm like, he kind I don't even think he was that bad of a guy, really. Like, oh, he was just trying to, you know, provide for his son. He was in a fucking traveling circus. He had sex with a real hot Hispanic woman. We would all do that. If you were stopping, that you would fuck her, right? Yeah. yeah and I would stay with her. She had a kid. Beautiful. Like, yeah, be a cute kid. Well, talk My, about that end scene. That picture. That picture was yeah. very like that was a crazy picture. That was a powerful picture. Yeah. How happy they looked and the baby. Yeah, I, I loved it. it. It hit me somewhere for sure, and the ending really wrapped it up. I was, I was, I was giving, I was souring on it, and and if if they had killed uh, Bradley Cooper, I was really going to be sour on that. Like I was just like, this is so simple. This is so not creative. What is about to happen? I thought, you know. And well, what about did it. his ending? He had to go out on stage and pretend like he gave a fuck about being like politician's son, pretty much. And you know, he definitely doesn't like that. Well, he he gave a face like, you know what? I think I like what my dad is doing, and I'm gonna start. I think oh, really? that was sort of like the turn him for him. It. Yeah, like sort of like his dad had a yeah. turn. I, I felt yep, I like agree. that might have been a turn, like a turn for him. I, like this Finally, is what I'm gonna play the game. Yeah, this is I, what I'm gonna do now. I guess, yep. I kind of felt bad for him. I kind of felt like he was just like his dad's abusive, and he was just kind of like playing his part, and he's just miserable on the inside. But I can see what you're saying. He was definitely one of those, I'm cool, but like in re- I'm just being cool because I don't know what to fucking do, and my life sucks. I have no yeah. parents. I thought it was kind of like, supposed to be like, I was like, this kid didn't have a dad, and this kid did, but either way, you're kind of fucked, because if your dad's a piece of shit to you, then you're no better than not having a dad, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Like, expectations. Like, I don't think his dad gave a fuck about him at all. See, yeah, I always wonder what happened after but, the movie. When there was one on. more that, <laughs> that I don't know if you guys uh, picked up on when he first moves in with Bradley Cooper and he's having the meeting with his advisors by the pool and he comes out and they like oh. smile at each or he like smiles at him. Like, yeah, that was I wasn't weird. quite sure. Like, like was that. Fucking- was that yeah? Uh, was that him uh, <laughs> acknowledging like, okay, yes, I, I, you know, okay, you're my son, I love you, type situation, or he did he smiled at his son there? Yeah, did he smile. I thought I just remember him like giving that awkward look to his dad, like with his chains, and just like jump yeah. to the pool. Like I was just maybe weird. his dad was I, like, yeah, you can get in the pool, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Well, I thought I took it <laughs> as like. I'm, you know, I'm fucking up your meeting kind of thing. Like, he was sort of yeah. sticking it to his dad there. True, true, true. He just wanted his dad. Yeah. yeah. I didn't, I didn't like the choice of that, of that actor. I didn't like his, I didn't like him at all. I, I, I got nothing out of him. <laughs> yeah. so. Has he been in anything else? I was he just remi- thinking that. He looked familiar, bro. Please tell me what he was in. He all looked right, very looking familiar. Oh, come on. He kind of looks like that actor from... The Big Bang Theory, one of those guys. The guy who was in Roseanne. What? <laughs> what? No. 
Oh, that guy? What? No. He's in the Big Bang Theory. Like, oh, yeah, that guy. That guy is hair, Similar hairstyle. Johnny Galecki, I think, is that guy's name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he he's, in, uh, he's in Christmas Vacation. He is? Ooh. Oh, Johnny he's Galecki, the yeah. He's the, he's the son. Mm. He's also awesome, Roseanne. Yeah, no, yeah, he is. He's I I've uh, I've pointed that out to Laura sometimes, and she couldn't believe that. Yeah, All right. Juliet Lewis, that blows my mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this guy has not been in. He was in the OA. Weren't you about the OA? Why? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. Did he was the he 14, was the male, Homer. Uh, yeah. Homer. Oh my God, he was he Homer. Wow, that's it. That's I knew it. Yeah, familiar. He was yeah. great at that dude. That show, I'm I'm gonna work. I'm gonna nominate that show for under for a, for a movie. <laughs> okay. And Ben doesn't Sorry. even like the second season, and I like love I it. Like then Daya is in the second season. She's fucking sick. Oh really? And the kid, yeah. the other kid, oh, really? Jason, was in the worst movie ever. Oh yeah, yeah, Chronic. Valerian. Oh yeah, that's what he's from. Valerian. That's okay. Oh my god, that is the worst movie. Wow. Ever. Oh, I'm not a big fan of that actor. I'm going to be serious. I don't he's, like him. The insane. Jason? Yeah. Well, he, from this movie or just in general? In general, I don't like him when he's in movies. You've seen him in other stuff apart from multiple, Valerian? Multiple other things. Really? I think I you're looked confusing at his thing. him with the other guy from like Chronicle. Yeah, There's like he's a, in that. No, no, that's not him, I don't think, right? I don't know. I looked at his IMDb and didn't see much. That's except a different dude. They look Valerian. exactly the same. They look exactly the same. Oh, the other guy right. Like I know exactly what you mean. I thought the same thing. No, he was in Chronicle. That's him. <laughs> That's him. That's him. Wow, that is him. Holy fuck. Yeah. He was in the Amazing Spider-Man Two. He was, uh, or he did, maybe in the first one, with uh, he was. Uh, Those are the worst movies ever. He with was uh, the, bat, the one that turns into the goblin. He's the goblin son. Harry Osborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's awful which, in that. Which Spider-Man? Awful in that. The Amazing Spider-Man Two. Which one Those is that? I mean, who was the Spider-Man? Ever. Garfield. The, Garfield. Garfield. Yeah. The cat. Yeah. Bill Mur- so Bill Murray playing Garfield, who then played Spice Lee. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just say? So he said Garfield, which is you know Bill Murray oh, played okay. Gar. Yes, I was doing a bad joke. Oh, okay. Do you regret anything? Maybe Garfield. Remember that Zombie Land quote from Bill Murray? Yeah, no, that was a great. No, was great maybe though. Garfield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zombie Land was great, man. Oh, all, all right, right let's uh. Let's stay on topic here, Eric. What's Never that? seen it? No, I have. Yeah. All right. So, one more thing. Just to uh, kind of talk about yeah. what Eric was talking about. Um, sure, 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 sure. Sure. So the, I'll do my so Schenectady the, accent. So, sure, so sure, the sure. Director. <laughs> the uh, you want to go in the no, house? I'm not, gonna, huh? I'm not gonna say it again. Huh? Uh, we'll take him out on a little patrol ride. Huh? He's good to go. Huh, honey? Honey? Huh? Huh? Uh. Huh? So the director. Basically, was about to become a father, or just did, and that was sort of what got him to write this story. Ah, uh, okay. So, it, I mean, it is sort of about that father-son relationship. So that is sort of the key. <laughs> definitely, it's definitely the moral, like yeah, like fathers yeah. and their sons. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. I mean, the whole movie is predicated on Ryan <laughs> Gosling changing his entire life. Because he wants to be the father for his kid yeah. that he just found out he had. True indeed. True yeah. indeed. Quits his job next day. Stick James, around. James kid ice cream. Quits his stolen. job at the. <laughs> yeah. Death. Quits his job at the roll of death uh-huh. at the death ball. I don't really understand why everyone's beef with him. He's a good guy. I like that. <laughs> Well, I think he, you know, he can be a good guy, which is, you know, why they like him at first. But then he hits you in the face with a listen, a listen. Bench. That's that's not fair. When I when you're not <laughs> properly taking care of my child, you don't have a crib. 
you deserve to get beat with a wrench. That's oh, yeah. Just, that is a safety hazard. You can't be having babies in normal beds. I don't know why it couldn't have just been a better, you know, better, just been a, better, you know, a little conversation. It just kind of escalated really quickly. Yeah, the commercial was- just didn't want to put it together himself. Yo, what you doing, man? <laughs> yeah. You up in my household and stuff, my man. You know what I'm saying, brother? Yeah, he was really good. You uh, think I want to put this crib together? <laughs> come on, man. You know I got the tools, my man. Yeah, that was uh, that was a good flick, but final rating. Yeah, that would be my recommendation: is see it if you haven't seen it before. Not worth, not really worth a second look. But yeah, I was surprised. I was like a three point five out of five. Feels like three. I gave it about. A, I gave yeah, it a seven, seven, seven and a half, maybe out of ten. Which I think is like right where it's rated on the internet. So we really did it justice. I Watch gave it a I say not true, uh, not true, for sure. You would give it a what? A four out of five, at least. Wow, Eric I would say it. I'm not gonna jump in and try and like I'm not gonna watch it again soon. But if it came on, I would stop and watch. Like if the first, if it had just started, I'd watch the first hour again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would give it closer to an eight or an eight point five. Uh, wow, I really like, you know, when directors or whoever the cinematographer do cool things cinema cinematography wise and they they did some the first shot especially that was fucking awesome the shots of the uh, when they were riding the dirt i don't know how they did he looked like he was going a million miles an hour um so i i I, I always give points for that that wood scene was amazing when they were yeah flying it looked like it looked like futuristic. It looked, un- it looked like fake. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was almost making me dizzy. <laughs> but... Glad it didn't, Travis. But... It almost. Oh, uh, well, what about next week? What What are we thinking? Glad it didn't. Well, what are your ratings? What did you guys give it? Everyone, you guys gave just it. did it. Give it ben. <laughs> yeah. What did Ben, ben give? Ben what? gave it a seven point five. Yeah, I gave it a or, verbal a verbal rating. Not uh, I didn't rate it in uh, stars or. He doesn't do numbers. numbers. Did you watch it? <laughs> <laughs> or are you just going exactly. up there? Did you watch it again? Or? Well, most of it, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so you didn't, you didn't see the last hour? He has no like clue. That. No, I watched, I watched the first hour and the last hour, and there was 20 minutes in the middle that I couldn't get to play. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. I'll let that basically the corrupt, Basically the corrupt and un, uncorrupt things that Bradley Cooper does. Yeah. Oh, you, so you missed Wait. Ray Liotta? You missed them Most going of to Ray the Liotta, house? Yeah. No, I saw that. Okay. But then, like, right yeah. after that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I lost right box. after that up until 15 years later. Yeah, you didn't miss that much. Yeah, that's cool. No, I know I didn't. Yeah. Oh, you missed a lot to me. It tied it together. Oh, man, I almost, oof, I felt feelings at the end of that movie. When they tied that together, he rode off on the bike after the mom picture. They're definitely I a lot trying better to give myself. you some feels at the end there with that, like, Oh, my God, ending. maybe I need to get a motorcycle or something. <laughs> Did you? I think it was just the freedom of him escaping the, cycle. the life that he had had to, you know, put up with in Schenectady. Having a black dad, get the We're fuck kinda, out of here, bro. Kind of has his identity. Right. We're definitely getting this. Pulled. Didn't really know who, like, who his dad was. Like, I'm sure that would be a driving crazy. A Spanish mom and a black dad, and he wasn't either of those. Like, give me a break. <laughs> that is hard. Yeah. I'm just being serious. A lot of Maybe worlds colliding here. No, that's what I mean. no. <laughs> you'd want to know, like, all right, because she lied to him. Like, tell me the truth about my dad. Like, come on. You know what I could see almost? Like, I could see Paul Walker showing up, like, briefly in that movie, being like, What's up, Brian? Like, that could be his brother, Brian. Brian. It's in the same timeline. Yeah, kind of like in the fast and fifth. He's street racing. He kind of knows them through the circuit of the, of the, I could see it, like him in a white tee, like, looking kind of cool. He could barely fit in because, you know, this is a good movie, but, you know. Oh, technically, Paul Walker was still alive when this was made, so he could have. Whammy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Next week, what are we looking for, guys? Talk to me. You know who's got a few on deck? Who's got a couple in the chamber? Well, I mean, I'm gonna just keep putting it out there, <laughs> dude. Thirteenth <Dallas. laughs> Warrior. Free Kill on Kill. YouTube. Hey, hey, two birds, one stone is free on YouTube. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. Yep. Think we should. What is? 
13th Warrior. Remember, you posted a screenshot of the ad they were showing you. And yeah. I had, they, and yeah. they'd shown me that ad, too. Somehow they know. Yeah, I'm okay with 13th Warrior because, like you said, that's the whole point of this podcast is to, like, get people to watch movies you want to talk about. So let's do it. Right. I vote yes. I don't know about the other two. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine watching that. Yeah, the Bandera- is that the Banderas play? Yeah. Like Antonio. Yeah. Let's do it. What, what's the... Well, what's Let's the, get it uh, over with. What's, what is the all. franchise that he's a part of? Desperado? Is that it? Five kids. Yeah, he was in that. Great. Once Upon a Time. All those movies. Yeah, Once, Upo- Once Upon a Time in Mexico used to be one of my favorite flicks. That was a good movie. Wait, was yeah, he in that? Good. That was Johnny yes. Depp. One of the people in it was Johnny Depp, yes. Yeah, but he was in that too. I, I am getting confused with the it's whole the, I, I Desperado the, thing. Um, the Mariachi. The, the Mariachi. Maybe that's the first one. El, El Mariachi. Chichi Nichi. And then it's Desperado. And then it's once. Those are so the same it. movies that's or those how, are different? It's not that's even all here, it's going to be, huh? We have said the 13th Warrior. There's, this is it. We got to have some banter here, some pushback. So, some, so, why am I supposed it's to watch Mariachi, which what doesn't about? have Banderas, then Desperado, then Once Upon a Time in Mexico? No, there's no. Does have... I'm forgetting Zorro. No, there's no pushback on the 13th Warrior because it should have been the first episode, but Wadden. I'm fine doing that. Pushed. Uh, <laughs> what was it? Well, but now we're watching uh, a second movie from the same director within three episodes. Yeah, I we don't, just I'm gotta get it out of the way. It. We're gonna get it out of the way, and then we can move All on. Right. Whatever, bro. And Our actually, I don't too. think necessarily. I mean, I, we're doing this fill in the gaps thing, but I don't think it necessarily has to be underrated. You know what I mean? Just talk about movies you think. Well, yeah, because uh, we haven't think seen... have slipped through the cracks. Yeah, we like we haven't seen Whiplash, like not nah, you know yeah. that's. Is that? Uh, I, would love to do, I would love to do Whiplash. Like that. <laughs> the only movie I had thought of recently that I really want to watch again is, um, I think I brought it up with Wyatt, Death to Smoochie. Oh, oh yeah, he did bring that. I up. I could do yeah. that. I would like to re. I really that. wanted to watch that again. That would be a good one. I haven't seen yeah. it in ages. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm down for any Robin Williams. You're thinking. Um, <laughs> Of another Rob Williams one was randomly when we were doing it, I was singing Patch Adams. I really want to watch Patch Adams. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's like a sad movie at the same time. Uh, yeah, no, sad, sad Rob Williams. That and What Dreams May Come. Oh, my God. Oh, please, God. baby, let's that, watch that. Let's what Dreams May on. Come is probably the saddest movie I've ever seen. Yeah. A lot of shit going down. Cuba Gooding Jr. pops up in there and he saves the day, though. <laughs> as he does. As he, he does? Is. I don't remember that. He is the, he's actually his son in like, in the other world. He's like, I'm your son, dad. <laughs> like, <I'm black. laughs> it's a whole wild thing. I'm black though now, up in here. Really? I don't remember. Wait, Cuba Gooding Jr. is his son? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in like the nether world, like the underworld or whatever. He like guides him. It's, uh, it's like the, uh, what is it? Uh, purgatory. purgatory. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that movie's wild as fuck, especially yeah. as a child. Why were we being told to watch that? That's <laughs> yeah, too much. I remember yeah. him like crying with his dad in the forest when it's raining. I love you, sir. I love you. Oh. It's like a fucking emotional ass scene, dude. <laughs> yeah. So there's literally yeah, nobody um, else Archers. in Thirteenth Warrior that you would recognize. Yeah, I know, but that's because it's... it doesn't need to be. I don't want to. I'm not saying that. Antonio not carries saying that. that flick. Not and, oh, the supporting, and the supporting cast, they show up and put in a performance. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is a Michael Creighton novel. Oh, yeah. Michael oh, really? Creighton. That's, that's based on the book. Say that. You based should have led the, with that. Based on the book, Eaters of the Dead. What? Has to a be man. a man. Or else Travis won't watch. A man having fallen in love with the wrong woman is uh. sent. By the Sultan himself on a diplomatic mission to a distant land as an see, ambassador. This see, is very that like, see, that has nothing to do with the Stop, story. Stop, got a Viking village port. To no, All right, stop reading. <laughs> Remember, we have to go into this blind. Yes. We don't need to sell it. We just give you a title. Oh, and you watch it. Oh, 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 oh. How about this? The last thing. 
a mysterious threat, banish a mysterious threat in a distant Viking land. <laughs> That'll sell you. <laughs> Got that. So I don't. I'm, not, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm not fired up about this, but I will watch it, and I'm going to have words with you if it is. Yeah. About that. Yeah. Yeah. I may not have taken notes before, but I'm definitely taking notes during this one. Hey, rip it, rip it to shreds. That's all part of the show. Go ahead. Man, this looks Halloween? like Monty Python level. I thought we were watching Hubie Halloween. Halloween. I still have to look that up. If you want to suggest it next week, I mean, no, why no. come to the table? With some... Oh fuck! This is a Adam. I Adam will. You didn't give anyone a chance this week. Yes, we did. No. You were. All right. Like what do you got, I... Wyatt? You got something? Oh, I don't know. I don't really have much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll do thirteen. <laughs> where then, Wyatt? You pick something for next week. Bring something. Oh no, I don't want to be put on the spot for that. It's not. It's a always a. It's always a group thing. Uh, it doesn't yeah, have to no, be a is, person. But. It's... but but really, we, a brainstorm. we need some, you know, everybody needs to be thinking of stuff. Well, I said Capote. Capote How many movies mine. did he do for Netflix, Adam Sandler? 77, I think. 20, 20 I think. Uh, he did like a 20 film deal, I think. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Hubie, Hubie Halloween has the uh, the chick from Modern Family. Back yeah. with uh, Adam Sandler. Yeah, she reprises her role. It's She's a, really good in it. it. It's cute. Money. She reprises her role as the <laughs> PG. Her name is or, very uh, similar. Her name is similar. Really? It's like that's hilarious. Yeah. From a Happy Gilmore character. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, her name is Virginia oh, again, gosh. right? Or something. There was just a scene oh, in the yeah. trailer of him always sitting a beat. Vicky Valentine. Oh, Vicky, Vicky Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, always, it's always a V. She loves the V's. Um. No, that movie is like kind of like a it's it's a fun movie, dude. Yeah. Like it really is. He's he's weird as shit. If you can if you can handle his his, his deck, he does like a real Adam <laughs> Sandler exit. He's literally playing a full. He goes full retard kind of. No, he doesn't. That's so surprising. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, Kevin James is in it. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, oh, save it for the Hubie Halloween podcast. <laughs> <laughs> is that not this? Yeah, and you weren't kidding. Ray Liotta. Rob all right, Hunter. all right. Snyder is a kid. Stop trying to shoehorn Meadows. for the Halloween. Wow, there's a lot of chicklets. Shoehorn chick Halloween, Halloween podcast? Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good for that. We got. Oh, look why didn't look we do out a for Christmas? that on October 30th. <laughs> why didn't we do a Christmas app or a New Year's app yeah, or something? Should have. We will someday. Thomas Crown Fair is a Christmas Probably movie. not. We won't, uh, we won't, we won't last it. that long. 200 episodes. We're going to last. If I have to do these myself, I'm going to be doing them. No, I'll do them. Uh, yeah, I want to watch movies. Shit. I, I I really, it was almost hard for me to watch this movie, kind of, for some reason. Uh, I just was kind of hesitant. Because I, I had preconceived notions. That's uh, the whole point of this. I, it's hard for me to watch a lot of movies, they, too. This is making me does. watch a movie. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I love about this. Notions. Yeah. Don't act like you don't, Ben. You're the most preconceived <laughs> yeah. notion guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know that's on Maker's Mark you're drinking. <laughs> Kentucky Spirit. I like the idea of Maker's Mark more than I actually like Maker's Mark. It's too well known, and it's delicious, but too many people have it. <laughs> <laughs> not original enough. It's not rare original enough. race. Oh, man. No, this is fun. Like, we'll, we'll get better, and, you know, it's hard to stay on topic because I don't know if we need to come up with like a outline of if we should kind of talk about the movie as the movie go. You know what I mean? Or you know, I, I supposed to leave spoilers out. <laughs> no, I don't know. No. I, no, I think we have to. We're assuming that they've 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 listened to our suggestion today, yeah. for example, to watch the Thirteenth Warrior, and by next week oh. they've watched it and they tune in to talk about it with us. Wow. You should, um, yeah, they do. We should just put on, like, did you see Ryan Gosling's dick in this? And look, we should just put on, like, spoiler alert. Right? We talk about Ryan Gosling. I was gonna say, we should come up with, like, some random, uh, fake spoiler clickbait titles. Oh, well, yeah, I put Pierce Brosnan had a full bush. I'm, yeah, I'm putting free on YouTube in all the titles. 
Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> so, if, so, so, if, so if you're looking for a movie free on YouTube, we might appear in the search. Yeah, not this that one. <laughs> no, you tried that. You're, you're all about. Like, oh no, I didn't try that. Actually. Hey, you gotta, you gotta hit the keywords, man. Pierce Brosnan's nipples. Okay, shit like that. And I yeah. feel you, dog. Eric, I wish that was your back. That is a dude. I wish that was your back. That is fun. Oh, That's fun. Hey. Oh God. That's a fun. <laughs> And that's it for me. All right. <laughs> we'll see you next week when we talk. Jason, the baby boy. How you doing? Why are you in the dark, Jason? He's out on his patio, it looks like. Yeah, easily on his patio. Well, you're not going to say anything? The bowl. Yeah. Oh, gonna oh gonna my God. guy. Yeah, my man. This guy's oh. smoking now? Smoking mirrors. Living in the greatest Musk. city in the world. <laughs> Old dog, you. Woo! Woo! That's, That's a nice cat on the nice movie shoehorn pipe. Nice finger. <laughs> All right. So stop recording, then. Yes. Maybe. We might have lost our.